In today's video, we're going to be showing you part two of the ride height video series on our Tony Car 801S. Welcome back to the Power of Public YouTube channel. In today's video, we're going to be taking you through the rear ride height adjustments on this Tony Car 801S. Now, the reason you're going to change the ride height in the rear is because you're not happy with the cart setup to some degree. So normally it comes in its factory setting which is in the middle position. Now the time you would change the ride height on the go-kart is if you had some chronic oversteer maybe in the wet or at a very slippery track and as you came off the corner you just couldn't get a lot of uh, rear, axle, rear grip in the axle. So what you can do is you can drop the axle in the go-kart which actually squats a little bit more weight onto the rear of the cart, i.e drag racing you know you can see the dragsters they have a little bit of rear squat and that actually helps with um, acceleration conversely if your cart is really stuck on the track on a really hot summer's day like it is here in Queensland you might want to pitch the weight forward so we're going to drop the axle in the chassis and actually lift the chassis up a little bit and that's going to pitch our weight forward so it could be a little bit less stable under brakes but it's going to free up the cart off the corner the first thing you're going to want to do is remove your wheels and hubs and the sprocket carrier. On this one too I've removed the exhaust so I can get to the bearing hangers a bit easier. Now the reason I do that is it's a, it's a bit of a fiddly job to get to all the screws. You can do it with all those bits on it. I just find it easier to remove them first so I can get to all these bolts nice and easy. So to adjust your rear ride height we've got four bolts on each of the outside bearing carriers and two bolts on the inside carrier. First up we're going to remove the bolts out of the inside brake carrier. You notice on this inside brake carrier that the holes are slotted so this bearing can, um, it doesn't affect the ride height, we're just going to do it up at the end. If you're liking these videos, don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notifications or share it with your friends. Next up, we're going to remove the screws on this side, like so. So you can see here on the, on the, on the, on the chassis, we've got three settings. You've got the standard middle ride height, then you've got the lower axle position, which is your high ride height, and then you've got the high axle, which is your low ride height. If you've got seat stays fitted, now's the time to remove those two. On the brake side, we've got three holes the same as the other side, but the bottom one here is slotted, so you don't actually have to take that bolt all the way out. Also worth noting is that the bolts are different length on this side to the other, so don't mix them up. So now we need to reassemble the car. What we're going to do here is there's a washer you've got to put on on the other side of this bolt to space the brake protection kit off the chassis so put the bolt in there add the washer and then you just got to jiggle it up over the chassis and into its little hole down here and what you can do is just jiggle the axle so that the bolt will start and then you can push this kit all the way up and get the other bolt started so now we've We've got the um, cassette down in the chassis, which is the lifted ride height. So this is what we're going to be using in these hot conditions currently. And what you're going to do here is just get the, the bolt there and slide the washer in from the side using a bit of the pressure from the bolt to hold it in place until it, the bolt goes through the chassis and then you can just get those all the bolts started and then you can push the brake protection kit in at the last point just before you're about to nip the bolts back up. For the final torque settings I like to use a, a ring spanner. You can see here with the seat stays with the axle moved obviously they're connected to the axle so we're going to have to drill new holes in our seat as well. So on this side we're just going to put the bolt down in our bottom hole here the same on the other side this one here, is, we've got the exhaust bracket to put on. So we'll just get those front two started. And then we'll put the exhaust bracket on as well. If you can't get the bolt started easy, just jiggle the bearing hanger, the bearing cassette in the hanger. 
until you get that thread started. They shouldn't be jammed up. If they are, they might be cross-threaded. Finally, you can insert your centre bearing bolts as well if you require those. That's how you adjust the rear ride height on your Tony car. Now you can lift the axle as well, it's the same procedure where you take all the bolts out but you lift the axle in the car and drop the rear ride height of the chassis and that will give you more exit grip, better braking grip but it can bind the car up especially in these hot conditions here in Queensland. If you like this video and you find it helpful please consider subscribing and turning on the notifications, give us a thumbs up. Also you can follow us along on Instagram and Facebook at Power Republic or go to our website www.powerrepublic.com.au and grab yourself a t-shirt or a brand new Tony Kart 801. Thanks for watching, see you in the next video.